hello welcome back to my channel i've had this issue okay not issue actually i've had people ask me this question they've been skeptical a lot about downloading files that are in parts where you see um part one part two part three up to part 200 part 50 etc um something like this um let me use um, this game as an example it's um it's currently um 17 parts of um two gig size each and um not everybody has that um leisure of downloading a, a single 32.8 gig file at once and i understand that pain where you you've got into something like 30 gig and um somehow somehow maybe due to faulty battery bad network or something something stupid just happens and the whole thing starts afresh or the whole thing corrupts or even after downloading it you notice that it's corrupt i have been there and trust me the pain is quite annoying not that um, sometimes you can't afford that data although that can be a very big issue for a good number of people where they they can't afford that data especially if you are in some countries where data is quite costly where data is like gold and um, you ended up squeezing yourself and getting something like 30 gig to download something you need maybe a game to relax yourself with a software to help improve your work in the office something like that and um, you ended up losing it due to bad network or the file being corrupted during uh, download or maybe the drive you stored it had um, a faulty sector a bad sector and you you are seeing the file in the drive but you can't access it something similar happened to me i downloaded um, a file of um, 54.7 gig or thereabout and um, unfortunately look though fortunately for me i downloaded in parts so it was 28 parts i think 53 point something gig 28 parts 2 gig each and i could access the first 20 parts the 21 to 28 were inaccessible to me i don't know how it happened though do the one terabyte i was using had a little bit of issue the sector where the file was stored the 21 to 28 because in hard drives files are stored in, uh, sector by sector so the exact sector that had the 21 to 28 or the sectors that had the 21 to 28 were faulty already so i couldn't access those i had to start afresh to download it now in my own case because i was able to download in parts i didn't have to start afresh to download uh, the entire 53 gig all i did was to go back to the website download parts 21 22 to 28 and um, i'm done that's how i that's how i do my own thing i don't really fancy complete um file size anymore although if your network is very stable please go for it i wouldn't want to bother you with this type but if you don't want such heartbreaks or you can't bear such heartbreaks you can do this i'm not saying when you are downloading parts you'll be free from issues i already explained one of mine to you another issue you might run into is um if your network is kind of bad and uh, during the download of your of one of the parts somehow 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 it didn't really download completely if you are testing the archive you have um, errors you hear um something like um part this is missing or part this error blah 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 so all you have to do is to try to find the faulty part and um, replace and re-download and replace it here's what you have to do okay this is the file i want to use i already have the password i've already downloaded in parts for the file so i'll just click on it i'll click on the extract i'll choose where i want to extract to 
let's say I want to use my uh, external hard drive which was connected to it I press OK it will ask me for a password if yours doesn't require a password the whole process will start immediately so I'll put in my password and it will start the extraction process the extraction process has already begun as you're seeing it's um one percent so you have to wait for it till it gets to uh, what's it called uh to hundred percent once it is done you will see your file in a folder like this when you open it you'll be able to access your file that's how to extract and parts if somehow you don't want to do something like that uh, if you don't want to extract like that you can cancel and then go back to this right click and um, i'm using windows 11 so it will be a little bit different uh, it will feel a little bit different in when you're using windows um, 10 and below for windows 11 you see winra use them um, extract here and then you start the extraction process and to make it look like windows 10 i'll click on more options and then this is how it appears on windows 10 you go to this and do extract here now for this if you are doing extract here that means when you open this file you are seeing a folder that's when you you can be able to easily do that extract here so that the file we have we retain its folder like this but in a situation whereby you are having something like let me see if i can get something without a folder inside okay, uh, something like this if you are trying to extract something like this that doesn't have um, a folder inside here's what you will do if you do let me show you what it looks if you if the parts are like this and they don't have a folder inside by folder, if you open this now you are first seeing this before you access the files inside that's a folder inside the raw file or zip file depending on what you are working with if you open it directly and you are you can access the files directly that means it doesn't have um, it doesn't have a folder inside if you do if you right click and do extracts here the file will be scattered all, all over your system now here's what here's the thing the files are already scattered all over your system and you wouldn't want that especially if you are extracting to your desktop i was once a victim it will just go all over your desktop and ha you have multiple files on your desktop which is annoying when you have files like this in raw parts in parts but they don't have a um, folder just right click on it go to winrar don't use extract here in cases like this use um extract to this something like this it will give you an automatic folder so when you start it you see it has already given me a folder with my files all the files i'm extracting will now go into this exact folder instead of being scattered all over the place so that's just how to do your extraction if you have files and parts please know when to use extracts here and when to i want to give them an already made folder so that you don't have issues later so thank you for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe see you in another video goodbye